Living Organisms and Cells Living organisms and cells All living organisms are made of cells. Cells are so small that they can only be seen with a microscope and not with the naked eye. From the simplest unicellular organisms to the most complex multicellular organisms, living organisms all share certain characteristics. The characteristics of living organisms All living organisms share the following seven characteristics. Nutrition, the process by which living organisms obtain or make food. Animals take in ready-made food and are called heterotrophs. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and are called autotrophs. Respiration, the process by which energy is released from food by all living cells. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen and takes place in most cells. Anaerobic respiration takes place without oxygen in certain cells. Excretion, the process by which waste and harmful substances, produced by the body's metabolism, are removed from the body. Growth, a permanent increase in the size and complexity of an organism. Irritability, the ability of organisms to detect and respond to changes in their environment or within themselves. Movement, a change in the position of a whole organism or of parts of an organism. Most animals can move their whole bodies from place to place, known as locomotion. Plants and some animals can only move parts of their bodies. Reproduction is the process by which living organisms generate new individuals of the same kind as themselves. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of gametes produced by two parents. Asexual reproduction does not involve the fusion of gametes and requires only one parent. Cells. The cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. A single cell possesses all of the seven characteristics of living organisms. Some organisms are unicellular, being composed of a single cell. Others are multicellular, being composed of many cells. Plant and animal cells. All plant and animal cells contain structures called organelles that are specialized to carry out one or more vital functions, for example the nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, chloroplasts and vacuoles. Organelles are found within the cytoplasm of the cells and most are surrounded by one or two membranes. The following structures are found in all plant and animal cells. A cell membrane or plasma membrane. Cytoplasm. A nucleus. Mitochondria. Endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes. In addition to the above, plant cells also possess a cell wall. Chloroplasts. A large vacuole. The functions of the different cell structures. The cell membrane controls what substances enter and leave the cell. Cytoplasm supports the organelles. The site of many chemical reactions. Nucleus controls the characteristics and functioning of the cell. Essential for cell division. Mitochondrion where respiration occurs to release energy for the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum transports substances throughout the cell. Ribosome where proteins are synthesized. 
Vacuol stores food, cell secretions or cell waste. Supports plant cells when turgid. Cell wall supports and protects the plant cell and gives it shape. Chloroplast where photosynthesis occurs to produce food for the plant. The major difference between animal and plant cells. Animal cells do not have a cell wall, do not have chloroplasts or chlorophyll. But when present, the vacuoles are small and scattered throughout the cytoplasm and their contents vary. May contain glycogen granules as a food store. Animal cells can have a great variety of shapes. Plant cells. Plant cells have a cell wall which is made of cellulose. Plant cells have chloroplasts which contain chlorophyll. Plant cells usually have one large, central vac wall which contains cell sap. Plant cells may contain starch grains as a food store. Plant cells have a regular shape, usually round, square or rectangular. Microbes Microbes or microorganisms are extremely small organisms which include viruses, bacteria, protozoa and some fungi. Many microbes are pathogens, that is they cause disease viruses lack a cellular structure and they can only reproduce inside other living cells. The cells of bacteria lack a true nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Their DNA exists in a region called the nucleoid, which lacks a nuclear membrane, and also in smaller regions called plasmids. Most fungi are multicellular, though yeasts are unicellular. Their cells contain true nuclei and other membrane-bound organelles except chloroplasts, and are surrounded by a cell wall made of chitin. Trillions of cells. Cell specialization and organization in humans a human body is composed of. These cells are of different types due to them becoming specialized or differentiated to carry out specific functions. This enables humans to carry out all essential life processes as efficiently as possible. Cell type function. Epithelial covers and protects body surfaces. Sperm male gamete. Fuses with the female gamete during fertilization to form a zygote. Egg female gamete. Fuses with the male gamete during fertilization to form a zygote. Nerve transmits impulses throughout the body to control and coordinate the functioning of the body. Muscle contracts to cause movement of parts of the body. Please take note of the diagram that is displayed on your screen in the exam you might be asked to label it. Pause this video when necessary. Cells of the same type that are specialized to carry out a particular function then work together in groups called tissues. Organs work together in organ systems to carry out a major function. All organ systems then work together in an organized way to form an organism. Digestive organ systems. Stomach, liver, pancreas, intestines function, digests and absorbs food. Reproductive organ systems. Ovaries. Uterus, 
testes, penis function, produces offspring. Respiratory organ systems, nose, larynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs function, exchanges oxygen and carbon. Nervous systems, brain, spinal cord, nervous function, detects and responds to stimuli. Circulatory systems heart, blood vessels function, transports substances around the body. This has been a production of Study Solutions. Please like and comment for more interesting exam revisions. If you haven't done so please share this video link with all friend doing the human and social biology exam.